Pig the Elf by Aaron Blabe Oh, Christmas Eve! That most merry of nights! The carols! The snowflakes! The small, twinkly lights! Santa was coming! Twas bigger than big, but no one was feeling more festive than Pig! How he loved Christmas! He would giggle with glee. The presents. The presents. For me. Me, me, me. He would written his list, and he'd asked for a lot. But Santa takes orders, so why the heck not? The presents. The presents. He screamed out again. When will he get here? Oh, when? Tell me when? He will come when we sleep, said his lovely friend, Trevor. But Pig shouted, Sleep? I will have none whatsoever. Sleep is for fools. Oh yes, sleep is for losers. I won't go to bed with the rest of you snoozers. I'm sitting up late. I will be here when he comes. I declare by these stockings and gingerbread crumbs. So Trevor went dutifully off to his bed. But naughty old pig stayed up, just like he said. The waiting was endless, but pig held his ground. Then at 3.33, well, he heard a strange sound. And guess who had made that mysterious noise? A portly old gent with a bag full of toys. He piled up some presents marked Trevor and Pig, then he picked up his milk and he took a big swig. But then, as he turned to go back on his way, a short cranky dog appeared, shouting out, Hey! I asked for more, hollered Pig in dismay. But Santa turned round and then hurried away. Hey! shouted Pig, sounding very unkind. Then he nipped poor old Santa's big, rosy behind. Up through the chimney. Out to the sleigh. Pig held on tight. You are not getting away. Don't be a cheapskate. I want all my stuff. The pile that you left me is just not enough. But the sleigh took off fast. Gee, those reindeer were speedy. And away fell their guest. Yes, the elf who was greedy. But as Trevor lay dreaming of holiday cheer, a real Christmas miracle happened right here. Yes, Pig must be blessed. He survived that big drop and was saved by a tree. With an angel on top.